This is the front brake light switch or stop light switch from my uh, 1998 Kawasaki ZX6R. Now this doesn't work, not reliably anyway, uh, the light just doesn't go on. It's quite an interesting switch because uh, it looks like a normal sort of push to make switch but it's actually a push to brake switch so normally when the uh, front brake lever isn't being pulled the uh, switch is held in like that then when you pull it it actually makes the contacts and uh, the light comes on at the back of your motorbike. This one doesn't work like that so uh, I think there's, it's that way around as a sort of fail safe if the wire falls off or something the light goes on and you've got a permanent stop light at the back but uh, this one wasn't going on. I've, I've put a, a new one in and it's fine so the wiring's all fine it's just this switch so I thought I'd pop it open. <laughs> It's never that easy though is it? And have a look inside and just see what exactly has gone wrong with it. I think I can actually do it just like that. So let's just have a look and see what's inside there. Let's just peel it off. It'll probably fly all over the place. So I probably want to try and avoid. Ah there we go. So what we got. There is a spring. Yeah and it's all disappeared into pieces. So that's the lid. That actually fits in there. What we got there? We've got a ball bearing, I think, there. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, there's a ball bearing. And that's your switch actuator there. So as you push it, like that, something happens. But it isn't happening for me. So uh, let's have a look. We'll take that out. Leave the spring and the contacts. Let's have a quick look at the contacts. They look sort of, well, okay-ish. There's a little bit of uh, arcing going on there. Oh, it is just a contact that slides up and breaks and makes when you let go. That's really simple. So it could be that it's just that the contacts are a bit dirty because there's nothing really wrong with this. This, uh, clean those contacts up. It looks to me like everything would be fine. Uh, let's see if I can put my uh, multimeter onto there and have a look at the contacts. So we've got the beepy thing. So can I do this with one hand? So yeah, it's not working. It's not making. It should be made at the moment and it's not. So yeah, that's interesting. There must be some some sort of corrosion on the contacts. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, they don't look particularly clean. So if I uh, wiggled the wire which was moving this contact here a little bit then I could, well actually maybe that one, I could actually get the thing to work. I'll just I'll just use a knife to clean that up a little bit, I think. Let's see if that makes a difference. Give it a surface to bite into. They are pretty clean contacts, but let's see if we can actually make it work. I don't know. Let's put the spring back in. Be a bit tricky operating it with one hand otherwise, isn't it? Is that going in? Mm, no, because it's the wrong way round. There you go. That's as simple as could be, that switch. Nothing going on there at all. And it's not making contact, is it? So that should be made in that position and broken in that one. So, yeah, so it's not working. But can't really see why not. Are the contact's worn down? Not really. So you can see them there. They look fine. And in there, the contacts, well, they don't look too bad either. What is going on? Why isn't it working? I wonder if I can bend those contacts up a bit. Oh, that doesn't really look like it's going to happen. Let's check this. No, it's still working. Let's take the spring off. I don't want to lose it. And that goes that way. 
when it's in, not made. When it's that way, it should be made. Oops, no, that's just me. And it's not, not making contact. Yeah, it does if I push that one forward a bit. So it looks like either this has worn away or this contact here, which I can probably just pop out. I'll pop that out. Get some pliers. Let's see if we can bend that out a bit. Let's see if we can give it a bit of an angle. So it's got a bit more of an angle on it than it did before. And then just put this in. It should make contact. Keep putting it in the wrong way around. It should make contact in that position. No, that's interesting. Let's put quite a bit more of a bend on that. Maybe it isn't that contact, maybe it's the other one. Come on, back in you go. I'm going back in there. Oh, bit too much of a bend on it. I probably have. <laughs> there we go. Let's try the other one. Let's take that out. Let's have a look at it. Seems alright. Put a bit of a bend on that as well. So you can see that, I mean, if you, if you really wanted to, you could probably rebuild this. But it's so cheap, it's not really worth it. Let's put that in. And in that position. <laughs> Still not making contact, that's odd. And it's now so tight, it's not going to move up and down very well. Oh, it's not too bad. That one's definitely making contact, you can see it move. But the other one doesn't, does it? Is that in contact there? No. Yeah, so I think the short answer is it's worn out, isn't it? If you wanted to spend a lot of time on it, you could probably sort something out, but I'm not sure I'd trust it after it had been uh, mangled a little bit. Let's put that back in. It is weird that that isn't making contact. It should be in that position, making contact. Uh, so it is now. Push it that way. Not making contact. The trouble is now, I don't think the spring's going to be strong enough to push it. Oh, it might do. Let's put the spring in, see if that actually works. One spring. On contact, is it going to push in and out? Yeah, it is. But should it? There you go. Okay, so <laughs> a little bit of rearrangement of the contacts. And there you go. So, yeah. no, it's not working again. Was that me? No, it's me. Push it in. Fine. Uh, I don't know, that's, I think that's probably tightened up the sliding contact so that the spring is having a harder job now to actually uh, push it in and out. So I don't know if I'd want to use that. But as a quick you know, backup, if I needed one quickly, the other one got smashed or something. Let's see if we can hold that there and operate it. Well, there you go, so sort of fixed, but uh, I think I'll just put a really quite cheap new one on and uh, use that. But uh, it looks like the contacts are either worn away a little bit or uh, bent maybe, something like that. But there you go, ripped apart, fixed, put back together again.